Guess what time it is right now? Guess what time it is? It's 4.52 a.m. I need to leave in like eight minutes, so this is gonna be kind of hectic. Basically, my sister Lily has a flight today, so I'm taking her to the airport, and so I'm picking her up at 5 a.m. Or, I'm, uh. I'm leaving at 5 a.m. to go pick her up. Today is Tuesday, March 8th. I thought I would bring you along for my day and kind of show you a day in my life as CSU student edition and kind of make a lot of things very college related and related to my school specifically. I have four classes today, but who knows if I'll make it to all four of those. Oh my gosh, my sister's calling me. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Are you awake? Uh, no. Okay, yeah, for sure. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hey guys, good morning. I need to go get ready. Okay, did you just wake up? Kind of, yeah. I'm just gonna splash some water in my face and brush my teeth and then I'm coming. Okay, perfect. What was I even saying? I'm more of a morning person than a night person and in a lot of my videos, I'm waking up really early. That doesn't happen every day, but sometimes it has to happen. With my new job, I work a lot in the mornings. Sometimes I do workout classes in the mornings. <coughs> also, not to mention, I go to bed at like 9 p.m. So it's kind of natural at this point. Everything comes naturally. Also, I don't know what happened, but the outside, oh no, 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 no. I just stamped my sweatshirt with deodorant. Uh, oh my gosh, I farted. <gasps> Sorry, sorry guys. Here's campus at night. In New York, concrete jungle, our dreams and night. I wanted to show you guys my blinker. Yeah, I have to go get that fixed. Introducing Lily Rand. Good morning. I thought that while I was out, why should I waste a perfectly good morning? So I am at this bay area and the coffee shop I wanna go to is just right behind me, but they don't open until 7 a.m. and it is 5.47. So I'm going to sit in my car for a bit while the sun starts to come up. And I also brought my journal, my five minute journal and the book I'm reading right now. So we have a lot of stuff I can do up until then. Let me tell you about my book journey. So around the time when everyone was getting into reading, I thought I would like to read self-help books the best. I purchased like two self-help books and I have probably gotten to 100 pages in both of those. I don't like reading them. So then I decided to get my first book. And of course I went with the most popular book that I could think of right now. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This year I thought I didn't know how to read anymore because I'm I'm so bad at reading for school, I can't retain information. And so I was getting really concerned for myself in that area. When I got this book, it was very comforting and refreshing to know that I can still read. It's very simple, it's easy to understand, and it's so easy to get sucked into because I'm also the type of person where if I'm reading, my brain is also like going 25 different other places. This has been the only book that I've read where my brain can actually shut off completely. I'm gonna read. I have about 100 pages left. I don't think I can get to 100 pages in the amount of time that I have, but we'll see. Oh, didn't see you there. Stuff just went down in like one page that I read. 
It's been an hour. I have read like 50 pages and the coffee shop is open now, but I don't want to be like banging at the front door as soon as they open. So I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes and then head up and get coffee. And I'm so excited because I'm so tired. <laughs> I got my coffee, it's super cute, and the place was really cute, and you're like right by the bay and stuff. It's called Super Bloom Coffee if you live in San Diego, or if you come to visit. Let's give it a little taste test. Yeah, it's really good. I could drink like four or five of these. Woo, yeah! It is 8.03. Class again is at 9.30, so we have a good amount of time, but not enough time to take a nap. So I'm going to work on stuff. And I know you're probably like, Chloe, what does that even mean? Just don't worry about it. I'm all ready for class, and I am wearing the exact same thing I wore in my last video. I washed everything yesterday, so I don't want to hear anything out of you guys. And I need to go to French, so. Okay. <laughs> That was not a... <laughs> I just got out of class and I forgot I have an assignment due in 13 minutes. So I'm like on this rooftop. I don't even know where I am. I'm doing it right here, right now. I did it. We didn't make it to my third class of the day, but I got an acai bowl. It looks so beautiful, so beautiful. It's at Everbowl on SDSU's campus. So sorry, I didn't take any videos or pictures. <laughs> But you can go to one of my other videos and it's in there. It just looks so good while I was walking by it. So I was like, ah, I'm gonna get it, okay. But I always get the acai and cocoa love base with granola, almond butter, blueberries, strawberries, bananas, coconut, and honey. So good. I'm gonna eat this, probably watch YouTube videos because that's what I always do. And then we'll see, we'll see what happens after that. Oh guys, I'm up. Hey guys, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be, it's 3 p.m. I slept for about an hour and a half. I kind of knew that that was coming just because I woke up at like 4.45 this morning. But I'm about to get up and start getting ready to go to the gym, which I can show you a lot of because we just got a brand new gym and it is so pretty, so big, so... back from the gym. Can you tell? I just did some cycling and then I walked a little bit and that was about it. The gym was crazy packed today so that wasn't fun but I stopped at Trader Joe's on my way home if you can see and I wanted to do a haul for you guys because I got way too much stuff that I didn't need and I also bought fun snacks that I wanted to try with you. Kettle corn popcorn. Crisp crunchy crisps. Uh, they're pea and chickpea snacks. Thought I could dip it in hummus or something. I got bananas, mixed nuts, smoky barbecue coconut aminos. This is like my favorite everything ever. And then I'm gonna try this sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce. Sounds like three different things I like put into one, so hopefully that's good. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I love these things so much. I love these Go Macro Bars. They're coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chips, but they're like vegan and gluten-free. These are really nice whenever I leave at 
like 5 a.m. for work and I don't want to make breakfast, so I got five of them. And then I got gluten-free pretzel twists. I'm not gluten-free, but when I do eat gluten-free, it's better for me and I feel better. So I got peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. These remind me of my mom because my mom always has these at home. She always brings them on trips. So I wanted to try the Trader Joe's brand. I got spicy hummus dip. Emma Chamberlain always talks about spicy hummus and I've never tried it spicy, but recently I've been really into spice and like spicy stuff. And I put sriracha on everything now, which is weird for me, but I'm really excited about this. I also got the vegan kale cashew and basil pesto and I'm gonna try to put it on pasta maybe later. Crunchy almond butter salted. For some reason, the salted is my favorite. Chicken, carrot, Brussels sprout, green beans, celery. If you're thinking it looks pretty healthy, it's because if I'm ever eating at home, I try to make it pretty healthy. And honestly, I just try to find stuff that won't upset my stomach because I think I have IBS. I'm not 100% sure, but sources say I could. So I have tummy issues a lot. Mm, yeah, I have tummy issues. Eating this just makes me feel good and ugh! You know? So now we're gonna do a taste test. I promise I washed my hands before I um, started this. First I'm gonna try the crisp, crunchy crisps. Why do they look like that? Oh, they kind of smell interesting. So these are vegan and gluten-free and very healthy and they taste like it and they're so plain. But I think that's where they went right because you can dip these in probably anything and it would taste good. Also this hummus, so good. These probably wouldn't be good on their own but they're so plain that they're so versatile, you know? Now we're going for the gluten-free pretzel. I'm gonna put some hummus on it. It's kind of weird. It's like way more hollow, but like it chews differently than a normal pretzel. That's kind of weird. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna do the kettle corn. This is something I'm so excited about because I have been a movie fanatic recently. You're kidding. I could eat this whole bag right now. There's literally four ingredients in this. Peanut butter filled pretzels. These are such a classic snack. I mean, these are good. So, <laughs> I'm going to put all my groceries away, then I'm going to shower, and then we can make dinner together, if you would like. My camera ended up dying, but my pasta was good. I'm really full. And now I'm going to finish up a homework assignment I have due tonight. A lot of stuff in this video is very last minute of me, but better late than ever. Am I right? Sorry you guys, my camera died for a bit, but I'm back. I just wanted to say that I'm going to sleep. It is 9.43 and this is way past my bedtime. Usually I am asleep by now. But the thing is, is that a dog showed up in my apartment, which was one of the greatest things to happen to me in a while. I'm gonna go get into bed now. I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be safe, see you in my next one, bye.